What's up everybody? It's Brian Aragon here, professional inline skater, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a 900. It's one of the funnest tricks in skating and it's one of my personal favorite tricks to do in every contest I go to. So obviously the 900 is a very technical trick and you're not going to just put on a pair of rollerblades and start practicing this trick. It's going to take years of practice, but once you're to a certain point, it is a very realistic and very possible trick. The best way to go about learning how to do a 900 is making sure you have all the basics down first. When I, whenever I skate a, a launch box, I always try and make sure I have all my basics down no matter what it is. So if I came here to this particular launch box, I would run through my tricks. I would do a 180, I would do a 360, I would do a 540, I would do a 720, and then I'd do the 900. The most important tricks out of those three to do is the 540. That's because you're going to be landing backwards, obviously, and when you land a 900, you're going to be landing backwards. Also, when you do the 540, you kind of have the, the same rotation that you do when you do the 9, and it's just the most comparable spin to the 9. So, I always practice that a few times before I actually throw the 900. Another important element is when you're throwing your 900, it's always important to, to remember that your head leads your whole body. So a lot of times when people start doing big spins, they know how to, they know how to turn their body, but they forget to move their head. They forget that their, their body's gonna follow their head. So when you spin, you always wanna make sure that when you throw your nine, that your head's already looking for the end of the spin. Once you do this enough, you're gonna, you're gonna learn to spot it a lot sooner, and your body's gonna start learning how much you actually have to throw and turn for the 900 to be completed. Another aspect to think about when you're doing the 900 is the way your rotation spins. Some people spin a 900 straight up and down, and some people you'll see they get a little bit off axis. For me, it's never made much sense to spin straight up because I feel like it makes the spin a lot harder than it actually has to be. So a lot of times when I spin a 900, you'll see me spin my body downwards. And what this does, it puts me into a rotation in skating known as a corkscrew. What, the, what this allows me to do is basically be in a position where I can see the ground the whole time and when I throw my body, after I get around, I can start spotting my landing a lot easier. So for me, this is what's tried and true. It's worked for me in the past and I think it's the most consistent way to do your 900s without feeling out of control. I mean, obviously people are gonna do them different, but this is my personal preference on how to do it. So I guess the only thing to do next is start showing you exactly how to do it. So I'm gonna first start off with doing a couple 540s to get my body ready to actually throw the 900. So I guess, here we go, let's do it. Before I do a 900, I always do a 540 first. When I do this 540, I'm gonna do the same grab that I'm gonna apply to the 900 next, just so everything feels the same. So here we go with the five. <laughs> 